All right, guys. So I'm just gonna curl my hair. It takes like literally no time at all. I use my straightener. This is the GVP um, straightener from Sally's. Um, I'm not exactly sure pricing. My friend Ashley got it for me for my bridal shower. I want to say something like that. My wedding gift. Um, it goes up to like 450 degrees. I do not turn it up all the way. I don't even know why it's that hot. Okay. So I. It's very easy to curl your hair. I'm gonna try to do a few in the finder. But when you curl by your face, you wanna curl away. And then I just kind of flip flop them back and forth after that. So you put a piece in there, you turn, and then move it down. There's one. I can barely see because it's so hard to film on my phone. Like I said, I just kind of go back and forth. Like, I'll do a piece that way, and then a piece this way, and then a piece that way. I don't curl my hair very much. I think I figured out, though, the way that I like. Like, my problem is, is when other people curl my hair, it's too, like, bouncy. And I just don't like tight, bouncy curls. It's just not for me. So, when people curl my hair... I like usually come home and wash it out because I just don't like it. I don't know. I'm just picky. And my hair's short. So it is like when you curl it too much, then it does crazy things and doesn't work out. Or it's too fluffy. And I don't like fluffiness. I just like volume with curls or volume yeah and a little bit of curl almost like beachy waves my hair being something else and i don't ever curl my hair because i don't go do anything but every so often it's nice to like just have cute hair so there's one side i can't really do the back too much because it's too short so I just do it a little bit okay guys I'm going to show you the last few pieces so like I said you'll grab a chunk put it in kind of like diagonal and then you'll just turn it I don't curl my bottoms because I like them um, like being like that like straight and then this one I'll do towards my face because it's not my last piece and then this one I will do away from my face kind of run my fingers through it I am gonna spray it like I mentioned if you watched my favorites video I posted of uh, for sure hair products this is a texturizing tea spray and I'm just gonna spray that to try to give my hair some volume and then I'm going to just use some not your mother's dry shampoo I don't use hairspray some people do I don't like it it weighs my hair down and I already have super thin hair so it doesn't stay curled then sorry I was looking in my body mirror Alright guys, so that was very short and simple and sweet and like I said, it's very easy but half my head is shaved and then my back super short so I can't like curl it back there. I just volumize it up. 
but there you have it. Curling with my straightener is like honestly the easiest way to curl my to curl hair, I think. And I struggle like keeping curls in my hair and getting them the way I want them. And it's just easy like my, I curled my hair with a strainer the other day and she was in like awe. She didn't know how to do it and I've had a lot of friends do that so I figured I'd film a video on it because that's the honestly easiest way to curl hair. I think I get the best curls every time and they always look beautiful and they're easy. It's easy to do versus and my curls actually stay versus like if I use a wand or a curling iron they don't stay. So I just prefer using my strainer. That's what works for me. Alright guys, I will catch you in the next video.